Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse DePlantis here. I hope you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content has been posted. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So right now, watch this and be blessed. Hello and welcome to Glorious Living. I'm Kathy Duplantis and it blesses me so much to know that you're joining in today and that you're going to be part of today's program. Chrissy's here with me as well. Yes, hello Miss Kathy. Hello, hello. hello everybody out there watching. Yes, it's we're so glad you're here. You know, we just come out of our Glorious Conference. Yes. It was so powerful. It really was. So yeah. many people watching from all over the world. It's so amazing how technology, I mean, even though they weren't with us physically in the house, they felt the presence of God across the airwaves in their living That's rooms. That's so true because every Everybody that came, came expecting, and there was mm -hmm. a spirit of faith in the house, mm -hmm. and it was contagious. It was contagious. I, I, have, I remember reading some testimonies yes. about how people could feel it in their living room. I found that exact oh, testimony, and I want to share it. At the, yes, it was from YouTube from AJ. She says, thank you, Lord. Powerful worship music. The atmosphere at Glorious is absolutely anointed, and it's in my living room right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you, Kathy, for being faithful to the Lord. Your teachings are having a ripple effect within my family. Love Love the beauty you created within the conference. <laughs> Team JDM, thank you for all you do. It was such a beautiful oh, conference my goodness. all was, around. You know, because this was the 25th, it was 25 years since I began the first conference. Yes. So I wanted to celebrate. And because of that, I wanted to really be all so special. And so, of course, I brought in the team. Of course. That's Tammy and Carrie. Yeah. And they're here again today. We're excited to welcome the beautiful ladies of Simply Put, Carrie Peace and Tammy Pigeon back to the program. This is their sixth time on Glorious Living and we just love having them to join us in Studio C. Carrie and Tammy are here today to discuss our 2024 conference, Glorious, and celebrate all the wonderful things that God has done. Thank you, yes, girls, for coming yes, back. Yes, thank you are. for having us. And looking so beautiful it's, in your pink, glorious, glorious. shirts. That's yeah. right, our glorious t-shirts. you what, the t-shirts and the sweatshirts we wore, oh, we yes. wear, they were such a hit. A hit. <laughs> they are I a hit. I agree, I oh, agree. Yeah. And they look good, and you mix and match. You, you got yours with jeans and a jacket, you and the, yeah. and the white you pants. You girls have style, let me tell oh, you. Yeah. Every time I see you guys, I'm like, wow. I got to get it together, Chrissy. Come on. Like, get put you coordinated. Look, Thank you. you but I mean, you're just so inspirational, not only with your designs and your decor, your style, but your faith is so inspirational, Aww, too. So we love having that. you on Thanks. here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Enjoy I remember when here. we started talking about Glorious 2024 last year, you know, mm -hmm. right now we're already making plans for our 2025. Yes. You don't want to miss that. Uh -huh. uh, the dates will be on the screen sometime, probably. But you can, we're already prop up promoting oh, it yes. in other platforms, We're but it it's going to be great. But this year, because of celebration, we got together and we talked mm -hmm. and y'all, God gave y'all ideas. Let's mm -hmm. talk about how that all came about. Okay. Can I just backtrack a little bit? Sure. So I just wanted to tell you, we are so deeply honored to be part of it. Right. I mean, we are so inspired by you oh, and your beautiful. commitment. And it's so true, your commitment to God to reaching people, changing lives mm -hmm. one soul at a time. Praise so God. this morning I was praying about it. And I thought about being a fish, fisher of men, fishers mm -hmm. of men. And I said, well, in Cassie's case, you're a fisher of women. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it. And then I got really funny with God. I said, just think about it. men were always the fishermen. You never had a fisher woman back then. Mm -hmm. But could you imagine? I picture you pulling up in your big pink vessel, <laughs> <laughs> probably named Gloria. Gloria. Yeah, Gloria. And of course, Gloria. Carrie, Carrie and I would have pink bows and all the fishing poles, right? <laughs> that is so and we awesome. throw, we <laughs> throw out a big, <laughs> big, big pink net. 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 Right, I'm sure it had glitter, 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 glitter with it. Yeah, just and I just laughed by myself this morning. And I said, I just have to share that with you because you really do inspire oh, so, so it's many women. True. I mean, Saturday morning, Mm -hmm. When you see, you know, we knew it was your 25th. I was at the first yeah. that glorious awesome. conference, wow. and the power of God hit, mm -hmm. and we were yeah. both just so excited to be part of it that we are reaching people and changing lives. Mm -hmm. You said, "Make it a memory." Yes, mm -hmm. make yes. it a memory, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. And people will remember. So that's what we mm -hmm. we did. Correct, yeah. Carrie? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love that. But y'all yeah. look like you have so much fun doing it. We I know do. it's a we lot do. of work. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have the time to do it. So so glad that we God connected us I together know. to do this project. And it was over the top. I love the way you did the photo wall as usual. Mm -hmm. You decorated the foyer. Mm -hmm. So right, and actually outside 
the, the church. The Before they came into this church, mm -hmm. they saw balloons outside mm -hmm. and they saw uh, some flower, some decorations mm -hmm. in the flower pots. So we just wanted, I, I just, I'm so glad you took such a great uh, care with it because I wanted the ladies that came mm -hmm. and some men came as well, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, to just feel welcome and celebrated. We want to celebrate them. Right. Yes, exactly. Right. And I think they Well, we loved that. your theme. Mm -hmm. So when you gave us the theme, so we were like, okay, well, this is good because it's a celebration. So we thought everywhere they want to look, we want, they want to feel celebrated. Yeah. Know that, okay, this is a celebration. So we took that theme and then we painted a picture. Okay, what do you want to see? So we went by your shirts. We knew your shirts were pink. Mm -hmm. So we looked at the word, what the word pink means. Pink oh. means love, compassion, and nurture. Mm -hmm. Then it symbolizes a feeling of um, what's the feeling of, uh, what was the feeling that was, Kim Boss, the feeling I remember now? I don't know, but pink is not just a color, it's an attitude. It's an attitude. <laughs> right. yeah. I have that, that on a so pillow good. in my in my house, somewhere in one of my chairs in my uh, closet, I think, but it's so right. nice. It's so and then the bows. the bows, because what the does pearls. a bow symbolize? I mean, a bow, you know, they say yeah. it's, yeah, it symbolizes unity, loyalty, strength for a woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it just so happened that Carrie and I always feel like, so I guess from the beginning, when we saw your first promos, we kept seeing the fireworks. Mm -hmm. yes. So it kind of threw us for a loop. Yeah. Like, how are we going to pull this off? How are we going to pull this off? <laughs> and then, you know, you said God gives you a vision and he gives you right. everything you need that's to carry so it out. And that's what we went with. So people really may not know Carrie and I's history, but Carrie and I live an hour away from each other. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. it's very difficult for us to get together and say, let's just have a 15 yeah. minute meeting. So it's texts, it's through yep. so many other, you know, Instagram will send each other pictures mm -hmm. and then it just comes together. Or we'll say, okay, let's pray about it tonight. Mm -hmm. And we wake up the next morning and our phones blow up. Huh? We always, <laughs> always have the same vision as well. Yeah. Because I love what you said, Kathy, on, I think it was Saturday, you said, when God calls you to do something, yeah. mm -hmm. he will equip with you him. with the tools mm -hmm. yes. and the anointing. Re that yeah. was so So powerful. the tools were all of our, the disco balls and the flowers and the bows. That was where all of our tools we had. Mm -hmm. And then the anointing, we would just would pray. God just show us. And he would, we would go to one thing to the next, to the next, and then everything would evolve. So mm -hmm. I love that. That was like, look, that was confirmation Saturday when you said yeah. that. I love hearing that you pray about it, you know, yeah. as, yeah. as a creative person mm -hmm. and you're a business owner. So there's a lot of times where people are like, well, how do you, how does it just come to you like that? You have to spend time with the Lord yeah, as right. a woman of God in business or, you know, entrepreneur, creative person. And you, you ask, okay, let's do some research behind this. What does pink mean? What right. does, yeah. what do both symbolize? I, I do the same thing often with my jewelry to put a meaning with each of it. And even though you, you were explaining it now to everyone, they might not have thought that when they saw everything, it just makes the anointing pop out even more mm -hmm. Knowing that you you went to God and you right. said, Lord, what do you want for this conference? And it came across beautifully. And oh, I know all you. the women just loved it. I, I love going on Facebook. You can click hashtag glorious 2024 mm -hmm. and see all of the photos that were posted oh, by people who that. attended. Yeah. And the smiles on their faces were just, you can tell they felt celebrated. Yeah. It really was awesome. Well, that's what it's all about. Well, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I sat back and thought, let's talk about a party, right? That's what we, yeah, we went with. Course. I mean, Every woman would love to have walked into that and that been their own party, and it yeah. really was. Well, mm -hmm. there was a lady there that it was actually her birthday, it so was. she told me, yes. thank you for throwing me a party. Yeah, oh, she had her cake sweet. there, too. The she cake. took a photo with it. <laughs> that is so sweet. Lots yeah. of selfies going so, on in the house. And that's what we want. Yeah, even as far as the mirrored balls, like that was a reflection of the light of God, like right. Jesus' yeah. light. Oh, like there were so many hidden elements mm -hmm. that we threw in. You know, and then we just took it one step further. And we're very detail oriented. Yeah. It's like if you could walk around the platform and see, you know, we had party hats. I don't know if yes. anyone noticed that. The cupcake. Yeah. yeah. Cupcakes. cupcakes. And then of course the cake. Oh yeah. The cake. We don't know how we came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> What's a party without a cake, though? What's I mean, we that's two right. cakes, actually. The cake on the right side as well. The small the smaller one. cake. Yeah. So. And the candelabras the candle and the candles. Yeah. So elegant yeah. with the pearls and the ribbons. Mm -hmm. It's all girly. Mm -hmm. And even the men didn't feel too inhibited, I yeah. think, by Because it, it was some reason to yes. celebrate. Yes. And all of it really came out of my heart because of the scriptures, that which was our theme scripture in Luke chapter 15, 
how Jesus taught us that anytime anyone born, is born again, mm -hmm. the Father says, let's celebrate to all the angels. So a there's a celebration nation. in heaven when we're born again. Mm -hmm. So I wanted people to realize how precious their salvation was mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. and those who didn't that. know God, how God would do that. And not only that, the fact that Jesus went to heaven and he's preparing another celebration. Wow, yes. When we all get up there in heaven, they'll, I mean, that's a place that celebrates. So my first Friday night message was it's time mm -hmm. to celebrate. And then on Saturday, the Lord gave me a message about how we were empowered to witness mm -hmm. because it's not enough to just be happy and enjoy your life. You mm -hmm. want others right. to bring, That's to come right. to the party, <laughs> right? <That's laughs> to, right. To, to celebrate to their experience. life, mm -hmm. to realize that they can celebrate life. You know, there's so many problems that some people encounter mm -hmm. in life and they give up, but we wanted that. I believe that this conference was an encouragement to people to celebrate their life and realize that God has even more in store mm -hmm. for them. Yes. I agree with you, especially for women. I mean, if you think about it, and I think we've talked about this before, all the ha different hats we wear. Oh, goodness, Mother, yes. wife, daughter, friend. I could go on, chauffeur, chef. Chauffeur, yeah. You know, and I mean, a woman really does. I know so many women that just are so beat down. Yeah. And that is one of our missions, to make sure everyone feels good about you. We need to be celebrated. Let's feel good about mm -hmm. yourself. We it. are worthy. Oh, we yes. are worthy of no it matter all, what. but mm -hmm. sometimes we don't realize it. And I think... People left Saturday morning realizing that. Yeah. yeah, and I love when you when you often say it could be a glorious celebration every day. Every day, like, right? Every day you feel good about yourself, like you're saying. Realize you you're a daughter of the Most High King. That to me, when we start saying those things and opening our Word and reading that daily, we discover that fresh every moment. Then that empowers us to keep going and be all those, all those different things, things right. that we can have it all and we can do it through Him because mm -hmm. nothing's impossible. Right. with God. So that's so good. I yeah. love that. You know, one of the main scriptures on Friday night that I had was it's it's in uh, Philippians chapter four, verse four. In the King James it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Oh, yeah. And again I say rejoice. So we don't have a choice. It's a command. We gotta rejoice. Ooh, but yes. I think it was the passion translation that I did read from that talked to I said, be cheerful, have a joyous, joyous. celebration. Mm -hmm. And so we have to realize that we, we're in charge of our own future, yes. our own joy. Don't let the the day rob you of rob your you. your joy and your mm -hmm. happiness. It, you make you can make a choice to rejoice. Mm -hmm. You can make oh, a choice like to mm -hmm. celebrate, mm -hmm. and it really is. And it's a it's an it's a habit because mm -hmm. people get in a habit of complaining, mm -hmm. a habit of grumbling. It, but in the same way, you can flip it around and get in the habit of of being happy, happy. and being joyful. Yes, and, and then getting in that atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So yes. come, coming to the meeting, it's great. I love that they can watch it on on TV, on you know social media. But coming to the conference, and then when you walk in, like you was talking about smiling a lot, yeah, you start smiling, and then you feel like, okay, yeah, guess what? Everything's like lifted off of me, mm -hmm. and you're getting in that yes. atmosphere, and you smile, and you meet people who are happy. And we were sitting in the pew Saturday. And these, this whole world of women oh, come in, yeah. and, I, and they all sit down, and they had on T-shirts, and the, the back of the T-shirt said, women on the move. Women on the move. Uh -huh. And I said, women, that's us. That's I'm like, we, I wanted to tap her on the shoulder and say, can we have yeah. women? <laughs> we're women on the move, too. We're women on the move. You are Women on the Move Church, and I think it was Alabama. Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you, yeah. yeah. because you really ministered to They were inspiration. Yeah, they, they were, were an inspiration. inspiration. Boy, the ladies won the purse. On, okay. the, on Saturday, oh, the Louis Vuitton oh, purse. That's right. So you have to get right. in that atmosphere because it's contagious. Mm -hmm. and you're in the atmosphere of faith, like you were talking about earlier, yeah. and it's just a contagious, and everybody's happy. And then by the end of the end of the service, you're like you. All the cares are lifted. All the cares mm -hmm. you walk in are lifted because yeah, yeah, it's contagious. Yeah, we had we had gifts online that we gave away. Yes. But in the house we had ten gifts on one on Friday because at a party you always have yeah, the always gifts. Yeah. Always <laughs> <party>. <laughs> right. So there were ten gifts, and normally at our conferences, y'all know, and maybe if you've come before, you may have seen them. We've we have like what's in your purse games yes, or, or stuff like this. Phone. And I had it on my heart this year, and I told Christy, and I may have thrown them for a loop. It was That's a little okay. different twist. We're always but, ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I don't want to do the purse game. I don't want to do the phone game because I had a concern that maybe some people who couldn't run to the front yes. or maybe they were for, sitting farther back and they could never seem to make it to the front and they had that same thing in their That's purse. That's right. It's and they'd true. be frustrated. Not only that, I had God put it upon my heart. And I mean, I do this every year, but uh, to, to give a, a nice Louis Vuitton purse Beautiful. that Beautiful. I purchased oh for uh, to give away one on Friday night, one on Saturday night, just my celebration right. to, was to give. 
And so uh, I didn't want them to be beaten up on one another. <laughs> because those ladies were, they were so really vicious. If they would have saw we that some, bag. We had they some close calls in past years. We so have. I thought, you know, let's, let's, pull a, let's pull a little ticket and then pull call, read the number out. And, and it seemed to work I out. I think already. it worked out yeah. wonderful. <laughs> and just even seeing them walk when those, when those purses were won, just to the see the, the joy on their faces, knowing they won that special gift from you, Miss Kathy, and then the joy in everybody else yes. watching it. You know, mm-hmm. it's just good to see people right. receive yeah. and from all God, the other gifts. The blessings. Like Ten gifts, yes. for goodness sake. And yeah. that was, was blessed by it. Oh, to be able yeah. to give those away. People donated those as well. Mm-hmm. So well, you donated generous. your prayer bowl as well, yeah. the Simply Believe. Yes. They're so beautiful, oh, those bowls. You. And thank take you. a little piece of the Simply Put ladies and put it in your home. I have one in Sophia's room, which is beautiful. And um, so it's just, it's good to see all of the creativity. I think that's what my favorite part about your business is, is knowing that it, it was a it was a download from heaven that they that you mm-hmm. stepped into your yes, like we often say with right. Simply Put, and you decided, mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. And look how far it's oh, come. I think oh. you actually launched your business and then came on the show like right, right when you, that right. week. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I basically kicked him out of the <laughs> yes. you, yeah. pushed, you kicked us out of the pink fishing so, boat. <laughs> sometimes you need to, though. You know, no. That's, that's what need. friends do. That's, that's what friends do. You know, right. And yeah. y'all, I knew you were going to do it, but it was the timing was right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because it's, and that's the way it is with most it of the is. dreams that we have. They start right. maybe years before they actually mm-hmm. begin. Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's a growing time. There's a, a, a time where you have to meditate and think about, because I, I remember teaching my message, I think it's in one of my books, uh, Suited for Success, mm-hmm. Beware of the Dream Killers. Yeah. And so dr- uh, dreams come uh, in seed form. And so mm-hmm. there's, there's that first stage, which is conception. Mm-hmm. So, of course, it has to be conceived. Mm-hmm. And then there's perception, which means you have to think about it. You have to plan mm-hmm. all of it. How is this going to come to pass? All the details, right. thinking it through in your head like y'all do when you plan right. for every conference. Right. And I know you're already planning for 25. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 25 is going to have like a treasure theme. So it's going to be Ooh, it, you beautiful. Know I love treasures. treasures. I love stones. And I love, yeah. To, yeah. I know yeah, God's going to give you ideas. He's going to get ideas. Listen, yeah, that's it's me. Already started, right? Yeah, so it starts with prettiness. Yeah. Conception, <laughs> perception, and then reception. You have to, then it has to manifest. You know, you gotta. You can't just be pregnant all your life with an idea. Oh no! You gotta deliver. <laughs> you can't be pregnant all your life. <laughs> you can't be pregnant all your life. But there no, there comes good. a time when you gotta deliver, whether yeah. it's a child or a dream or whatever vision, whatever it is. So yeah. it's important to to make sure that it's it is in it uh, is stages right. mm-hmm. that yeah. happen. I so. agree with you, but you know that's where your faith really comes in because it does get discouraging at yes, times. Yes. When you say when God, I mean that, that's not when God, when God, when, but that's where you have to step up your faith. Mm-hmm. That's your job. Mm-hmm. Like you're saying, you know, some things we're in charge of. We're in charge of our happiness. Mm-hmm. So good. You know, we're in charge of our future. So that's where you really, really have to step in. And it's great to be around like-minded people. Right. For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, you we know? need those encouragers. Absolutely. Spark, people oh, that spark yes. our, our mm-hmm. imagination and our, our desires and our dreams. People that speak to our faith. You know, the uh, Bible talks about how we have like precious faith. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like being with people that are happy and joyful. Me right. too. Right. And Me it's, too. you know, nobody wants to be around old grump. grump. No, put a smile <laughs> I told on Jeffy the other day as he gets old, I said, you know, there's a phrase called grumpy old men. <laughs> That's a movie, actually. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> I said, they got it from somewhere, so don't fall into that trap. I think we got a so president funny. that's kind of that way right now. <laughs> I don't say grumpy. I say grouchy. That's my word. Grouchy. <laughs> Grouchy's just as bad. Yeah, we ain't nobody has. We're gonna be happy. I, I want every yeah, day of my life to be happy. Right. Me too. Feel yeah. with joy. I love that. Go and celebrate what God has done and what He's going to do, and that's where faith comes in. It's like you might be walking out something that you never thought you would be doing uh, and you and you feeling the pain and the heartache but mm-hmm. but knowing that guess what he's going to take me through it I'm going to walk through it like boss often says, says I'm not going to sit there and camp there I'm just going right. to push through mm-hmm. and um knowing you know my celebration is right there and I all I have to do is take God's hand and he's going to mm-hmm. he's going to guide right. me through it and to me that's that's the best part of this ministry is knowing that you have. There's nothing impossible with God, and we say it on every program. It's our theme. Is anything mm-hmm. too hard for the Lord? No, yeah. <laughs> and, and just. It, but you have to hear it each and every day because the enemy he comes in trying to discourage, but he's never going to win. <laughs> faith right. comes by he, hearing. Yeah, faith comes well, by like hearing. Well, like you always say, the end result. What does Jesse say? We know what the end result is. It's victory. Yeah, we already knew yeah. the end result. Yeah, we read the back of the book. 
That's we right. Win. And we're blessed we because we read it. We win. Yeah. Right. We win. We win. We're, we're a victory going somewhere to happen. I often say I'm anointed to win and impossible to curse. So yeah. I'm that's blessed good. going in and blessed going out. Oh, that's that's good what stuff. I like. Right? Yeah. I'm too blessed to, to be, be stressed. stressed. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. there are phrases like that 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 you God can give you that you can take ownership of that will really help you to to move beyond the sp if you're in a, a point of discouragement mm -hmm. that'll help you to li that'll lift your face. God says that he, the word tells that he's us that he's the our glory and the lifter of our head. He's not going to put you down. If you're feeling discouraged or despondent, that's not God. God's not doing Amen. that. He's yeah. always coming to give you ideas, concepts, concepts. insights that will lift you up. Yeah. Higher and, and higher. And he does. He definitely he does. does. You just need to listen. And you're, you're a testimony of that too because you stepped into your yes with Simply Put. Put and right. from that, <laughs> Simply Believe right. came forth. And I know you have other plans and we visions and do. things <laughs> that are inside of you. And that, that's just such an encouragement because some people think, well, I, I accomplished that years ago. I accomplished my dream it, and that's done or past my prime. And that was actually one of the questions on the Glorious Talk mm -hmm. panel was a lady who felt like, you know, that dream didn't come to pass when she was younger and that she was past her prime. And boss was saying, you're sabotaging yourself with your words. Mm. You're, you're saying, I'm past my prime. It's over. Start start saying good things mm -hmm. to yourself as you're driving in your car. Start talking to the Lord and mm -hmm. saying, oh, this is going to be a great day instead mm -hmm. of saying, oh, Lord, I have to encounter this person today. <laughs> Think about how you can minister and be a light to these people. That's and then the right. glorious celebration will just come on through you out to mm -hmm. others. It, like we right. say, it's contagious. If you feel like you're getting older, you say the scriptures, Tamis said earlier, my youth is renewed like the eagles. Yeah. It's never it's, too late. Yeah, that's right. right? It's yeah. And, and one of the scriptures that I think I remember, I think it was Friday night, how about we can be cheerful in every season of life. Mm -hmm. And I think that is Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 in the Passion Translation, and how you're to be season. cheerful and have a joyous celebration celebration during every season of life. No matter so what. I'm season. not young anymore. I'm 71. You're still young. But I'm, this, I'm enjoying this season of my life. And every season of our life can be enjoyed. In fact, we're just temporary residents on here. I've often said, I've re uh, heard that uh, uh, aging is just a, a reminder that this is not our home. Yeah, we're yeah. not supposed to be here. We're we're eternal beings, Ooh, and we're going to so go to heaven. Awesome. We're going to get a new body and hopefully a new <laughs> a new face, right? a, a little more than a facial, a little, right, right. A little, a little upgrade. Right. But uh, we're going to awesome. be we're eternal beings, and but while we're here on this earth, we do have an assignment. We're to be the best we can be yes. and serve the Lord and and sh and share His gospels in all the different ways that we do it. We do. Glorious is just one of the things that we do. We put on this annual conference every year in. And it's in March now. When we first started doing it 25 years yeah. ago, it was in October. But a few years back, we switched it to March. And I think it was because of a storm yes. that had come through. But the dates for next year, I think they're putting it on their screen for it, is March the 7th uh, at on a Friday night at 7 p.m. and March the 8th at 9 a.m. And again, registration and mission are always free for all the conferences. And it'll be, again, right here at JDM International Headquarters. Yes. It's going to be so much fun. And all of these things that we do, whether it be the program, conferences, because we never charge for anything that we do. It's always open to everyone. And we always bring give blessings to them with gifts and things like that, mm -hmm. of course, at the women's conferences. But that's all made possible by our wonderful partners. Oh, yes. So we appreciate you, partners. Thank you for being a part of everything that we do. If you're not a partner, you can do that by going to JDM.org, PayPal, text to give, or select giving on the JDM app. Mm -hmm. Or you can mail in a donation. But we love our partners. And you guys are partners, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Always, and we appreciate your partnership and your support. And just mm -hmm. thank you for being my friends. Oh, thank, thank you for you. being a friend. I can't sing, but I <laughs> want to. She's the singer. She's the singer, right. <laughs> but we can, we can do the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do the game. back up. Oh, we'll back up. Like the Supremes. And I love the celebration song y'all sing. Oh, Celebrate yes. good times. Come on. Yeah, come on. Loved it. Because we just need that. We need a little pep in our set. We had the balloon drop. Oh, yeah. Yes, I that. Right. that was such There's a little such a surprise. Nice Ladies were walking out with their balloons, uh -huh. holding them, mm -hmm. and and just I don't know the, the whole the whole experience every mm -hmm. year just seems mm -hmm. to get better mm -hmm. and better. Yeah, so does. I know next year is going to be even better. Right. And guess what? It is on my birthday, the Friday night, is March seventh. So oh, that will oh, be my birthday party. Throw a party for you. <laughs> well, thank right. you, Jesus. Right. With, the jewels. Right. with the jewels. Well, you know I love. She likes the jewels. I love jewelry, and I had the opportunity to to donate my 
a necklace and a, um, yeah. actually two beautiful sets. Jewelry. And I remember, um, I think it was the um, ministry time on Saturday. I was just so filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. The atmosphere was just charged with the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. And um, I saw one, the lady that won the night before walk up with her necklace oh, on. And that sweet. just Touching. blessed me so much knowing that I, I could make her smile. smile. She wore yeah. that necklace. And it just brought everything full circle. And God reminded you, you know, this that's your gift and you're doing it for the kingdom of God. And you have a gift too that that's God so wants true. to give. He wants to um, bless others through you. So I just love that you're both here today to keep encouraging people to walk in the gift that God anointed them for. Because, you know, the enemy might want to say, oh, you don't have any talent or you have nothing to give. And that is a lie. Yeah. We all have something precious that God wants us to share with others in our lives. So, And, you know, it doesn't have to be anything big. Big. Mm-hmm. I mean, of course, we'd all love to be Kathy Duplantis, right? right. Yes. Reaching, yes. So, reaching so many people. Yes. But we just fit right in. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? We're doing our part that God has called us to, to do. do. Right. In our corner of in the our, world. Mm-hmm. Right. So when we all come together, look what happens. Mm-hmm. I mean, the conference was glorious. <laughs> heaven was. on earth. That is my new, that's my work. My, heaven on earth. My phrase for the year. Why I can't we have that. heaven on earth? You can. And it could be the little things. The other day, so this is so simple. The other day, I was fixing myself a glass of... It wasn't juice. It wasn't water. I actually think it was kefir. And I pulled out this old glass. And then I went in my china cabinet and pulled out a really pretty glass. And and filled it with that. Dropped the strawberry in it. And it just made me feel so good. So simple. Simple things. Simple things, right? Simple things. Simply pink. put it Simply. there. It was, yeah. it was pink. Right. Pink. Simply pink. It was pink. Oh, I have a pink, a feeling of warmth. That's what oh, it is. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad it you remember. Yeah. Yeah. It a feeling of warmth. And it does. And it did feel like that when you walked in the sanctuary. Like you were warm. You felt you were welcome. Like wrapped your arms around you. I love mm-hmm. that. Yeah, a little warm. I mean, we but. saw people's faces from the minute they hit the door. Mm-hmm. And it was just wonderful yeah. to see that smile. Yeah, and I love the fact that this is really a, an example of what heaven's going to be like. Yeah, I believe that yeah. there's an anticipation in heaven for us when we come back. And I hope that that got communicated it at did. the it conference, how important our salvation is. You know, and if you don't know Jesus, mm-hmm. you can know him today. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're Jesus. watching. You do these, I know these fees just drop in. Maybe you're watching. You don't realize why you're watching, but it's because God drew you here because he has a great, beautiful plan for your life. And it's so simple to know him. You just say, Jesus, forgive me my sin. Come into my life. I repent. I want to live for you. And when you say that with your heart, even if it's different types of words, you're born again and you have uh, the promise of having a celebration in heaven for eternity. Oh, yes. So that's what it's all about. And that's why we put on Glorious. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're going to put another one on in 2025. That's why we do our visionary conference. It's going to be in July. July. And y'all are going to help me decorate that as well. Well, mm-hmm. working but, on that know, too. <laughs> <laughs> the phone started going back and forth this morning. Huh? <laughs> that is so exciting. It's, it's coming it, up quick. It's coming up. Yeah. Making and plans. thank you girls for being an inspiration. Aww. You know, I think just the fact that you work together the way you do mm-hmm. is an inspiration to others that are watching to know yes. that even if maybe, maybe what your vision is, it's not to be by yourself, but maybe there's someone else, uh, maybe right. a group of people that will come together and put on to, mm-hmm. to start a business yes. or do something, right. mm-hmm. just step on out there. God will, God will meet you right where you he are. Sure That's will. Right. And he you couldn't do it without your staff. They're so oh. wonderful. Oh, They're yeah, so the whole wonderful. team. The Thanks for remembering that. Yes. It's a team everybody. effort. Yes. It, it is a team. We did. No good. one knows what goes on behind the scenes. Right. And That's they were right. wonderful. And everybody was committed to excellence. excellence. Everybody did it because, uh, as unto the Lord, but also because they loved the ladies that would be coming, the men that would be coming to all these conferences. It's about showing the love of Jesus. And people say they they sense it when they move drive onto the property and we believe they leave change they do that's why we of do of course they do <laughs> <laughs> well praise god well thank you girls for coming well, back to time always us. goes by so know. Great. we have such a fun so time together right. thank you both for your friendship for your hard work and just for being lights to us thank, thank you, you. Really we feel the same about both yeah. of you thank, oh, you. thank, thank you. you and you know here we are in studio c i gotta remind you they're the ones who decorated <laughs> yeah. it put it all together i had the vision for it but they they had the expertise mm-hmm. and the gift Beautiful. to do it. So thank you again for keeping this, making this place Praise what it is. And you had all the beautiful things. You had all the treasures. <laughs> treasures. 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 Right. 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 Treasures. 2025 is going to be the treasures. We say that all the time, huh? Yeah. About yeah. hidden treasures. Oh, we have hidden treasures. Yeah. Yes. Kathy always treasures. has hidden treasures. So we're, I know the Holy Spirit's already preparing what's all going to mm-hmm. happen next year 
on March the 7th and March the 8th in 2025. You do not want to miss it. Hallelujah. You can make plans now. Maybe you watched online. Yeah. It's important that you're here. Yes, We're going to be looking here. for you. Yeah. Right. I encourage everyone to come because Saturday morning, the anointing was so strong. I know it went out through the airwaves, it did, yeah. but just be in there. Yeah, the it just presence. Feels, presence. Oh right. my gosh. Mm -hmm. So really, if you can make an effort to be here next year, because mm -hmm. it will change your life. Yeah. It will. Yeah, we'll be looking for you. Ready. Amen. And thank you again for being <laughs> oh, here. Thank you, Kathy. We've run out of time. But it's always guys. a blessing when y'all get to come. Mm -hmm. God bless you girls so much. And I know that God has you. great things ahead for your business. Let's yes. Before we, we go that, that we yeah, before that. we go, I know it's a little over yeah. time, but we didn't pray for our, our viewers yes, specifically Lord. for all of them. Father, I thank you for every person that's been watching today thank along God. with us on all these different platforms. We send the word of God out to them, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that they're called by you to step out into their yes, yes and to fulfill so the vision and the plan that you have for their life. Touch them today. Strengthen yes. them, Lord. If they're sick in their body, Lord, heal them yes. in Jesus' yes. name. Lord, whatever's yes. concerning them, Lord, I pray that you perfect it now in Jesus', in Jesus mighty name. name. Amen. 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 Well, that was a glorious prayer. Wow. <laughs> it's right. yes. wonderful. Well, thank you again, Kathy. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks we for being, being here. here. Thank, you guys. thank you. Thank you. It really you is an honor. Oh, it really is. Blesses us so much. And thank you for watching today. I believe that you've been blessed today. Be sure and watch next week when I have another Glorious Living program that will be special just for you. Bye-bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.